one of the major responsibilities of the government is to provide job for citizenry. But however, there's no country where the government can provide job for everybody. It is based on this that some people have chosen to embark on small scale business. Thanks for joining us on Premium TV on the regular show Business Trip. I am your regular anchor, Abakaka Lucky Omeza. Please stay with us as we go on a short break. From myself, save me from this earth. Oh, save me. Love me, love me, love me. Love me not in death. Love me while I'm here. Just love me. I'm broken down. Can't fix myself. Oh, save me now. You saved me. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. And if you are just joining us, it's your favorite program, Business Trip, on Premium TV. Please take a trip with us as we talk to some young Nigerians who run businesses on a small scale. My name is uh, Aditya Ogechuku Veronica from Federal Polytechnic Bida here, a student of quantity surveying environmental to be precise. Well, starting up wasn't just immediately. It happened over time, something I had interest in. I didn't start it up like that something I would want to be earning with. But today I can see it as something that someone can even employ somebody to. Yes, they say there is no work out there, but I would not want to join this slogan that says there is no work out there. You must not be employed by someone. You can also employ people, you understand. So I would want to say to people that are out there, find something you have interest in. And all you need is the fund. We know that those funds are not readily available, but we can use this opportunity to appeal to other parastatters, other NGOs out there to make it easy for we youth to be able to attain small funds, small soft loans. And with the paperwork that it's being lined up, it's discouraging. I will tell you that I have got to a certain level to approach some firms, but the paperwork was too much. And again, we small scale business owners, which are which I say upcoming entrepreneurs, we look forward to an opportunity where things are made available. If things like electricity especially are made available, definitely small scale business will go further. If you look closely, we are running on generators. Now, we need generator for light when the weather when the day is dark we need generator when the weather is hot you need to cool your drinks now if there's power supply it facilitates things i believe the main state of this small scale business will go further if there is fund and there's power supply my advice if you can or if it is in you that you have a burning desire for a particular thing it must not be a particular skill you can learn other things you can try to diversify to other skills now when you get to other skills that that really piques your interest that really burns your passion they have that passion for you can go for a soft loan which we know is not really available but i know little by little we can get there you can even speak to your family members about it because in it my own basic uh, support came from family then from there we agreed to where we were today where we are today so i would say find first of all that thing you have interest for then after which you can pursue other jobs out there first of all do not have it in you do not believe in you that there is no job out there first of all find that thing you have passion for while you are waiting on the job it, it also gets to the point where you don't even need to be employed anymore because why you've developed that thing you have passion for I don't like to have a future which is not right. I don't like to play with family. 
That chicken. Uh, it was not that easy, shot to open something just like this. I started when I was schooling. I school here in Federal Polipita. I did my ND, and during my ND days, when we went on strike, that is when I I learned something because I know going home and staying home, doing nothing, I won't gain anything. And if you if you want to start asking of money from maybe your brother or your sister or even your friend nobody will give you money that is why i have to learn this this trade then um when i was schooling i have i, I need to get some of the material i started with getting all the material i got some of them then i started making um, um hair then i started making hair for my colleague then at smoggy they used to collect 500 naira. I used to make it 300 naira, and because of I reduced the price, most of them used to come, and that is how I started it. Then when I um, when I um, came back to my HND, when I started my HND, I, I saw that I, I I need to continue where I started. Then I continue. Then I I have um, this passion for sewing. Even though I don't sew them, but I love it. That is why I say, okay, let me just add something to what I what I have before. Then I have to go and learn this one too. When I'm still schooling, you know, I learned this too, this uh, telling stuff. After then, 
I did my feed done. Then I was thinking, because going to service, after service, I was like, ah, where will I get this money to start this business? I have, and at my mind was even still telling me that if I finish school, I can't start asking my parents to give me money. I have to tell them that I'm still in school when I told my mom. My mom then, she now borrowed me some money. She gave me, let me just say, should I say borrow or give? Because <laughs> I've not returned any to her. Uh, you know, that is family business stuff. My advice is for uh, for people to just go and look for something to do. They, see, no handwork. Any handwork you, you put your hand into, as far as a genuine thing, you will gain something. And that, for my own, that is what I have to advise them. Thanks for staying with us on the show and hope you enjoyed the program. Please keep a date with us, same station, same time next week. I am your uncle, Abaukaka Lucky Omeza.